Good day, YouTube. Welcome back to my neck of the woods. My name is Dika, where I share my experience and knowledge, hoping to lessen your learning curve along the way. So today, I'm going to talk about something that I'm no expert on, but I, I'm always journaling it and studying it and trying to get better at it every year. And I thought I can give you a little insight on what I've learned over the years. So before I get started, please subscribe to my page, like my videos, and make some comments. That would be great. I really appreciate all of you that have already um, subscribed to the page. So I'm going to talk about the moon and whether or not I think it influences deer movement. Now at first, first glance, or at first, I would say no. It doesn't, maybe a little bit, but I don't think it has a big impact on deer movement until... I got spy point cameras and it was just easier for me to sort of log or um, journal how often a deer moves past that camera when the wind is a certain way or when the weather is a certain way or when the moon is a certain way. And so I started to gain, gather data on the deer that moved by my cameras on a daily basis. And it was so much easier to do with spy point cameras. So one of it was the moon. So I started to sort of, like I said, um, collect data on what happens um, when the deer walk by my camera. Now, why were they there? Were they there on a certain moon? Were they there on a certain weather? Were they there on a certain wind? And a lot of it had to do with the moon. Surprisingly, I found, uh, to let you know, I usually set up my cameras or I'll set up my stands where I think is a, um, a halfway point between food and between bedding. Hope, and and it's, a, it's a heavy run where, they, where they're coming in daily. That's where I try to set up my cameras and uh, I'll usually set up my, um, my stands or blinds in the same spots. So I got spy point cameras and I saw that, you know, obviously you're notified instantly when the deer shows up. And well, th I think the delay is about three minutes. And I found that the majority of deer showed up on the waxing and the waning gibbous, that section of the moon. Now the waxing is the, uh, the, the waxing gibbous is right before a full moon and the waning gibbous is right after a full moon. Now I found that I found that the majority of the percentage of deer showed up in the higher percentage of the waxing and the waning gibbous, like in the 90 percent. The, the, the smaller percents, not so much, but I could almost, I wouldn't say pinpoint it, but even last season when I went in and I, I would, like I would look at the moon and I would say, oh, it's a waxing gibbous and it's like 98 percent, which means like the next day is going to be the full moon. Oh, oh, within a couple hours, the full moon is going to be happening. And if it, a lot of times it was like on the the, um, the evening hunts when the uh, the full moon will be rising that night. So I will, I'll I'll go in and I'll say oh tonight's a wax and give us let's see what's up. I want to say nine out of ten times I ha had deer movement in front of my stand on the wax and give us. Same thing for the waning give us. Uh, now I really don't know if there's anything to it. Like I said I'm I'm not a scientist and I'm. I'm I don't study deer, but I'm a hunter, so I study deer in that aspect. But maybe there's something to it. I'm going to tell you what I, I, I wanted to go on um, and tell you that um, other data that I've gained based on the full moon. I think the full moon plays a lot in deer movement. And I'm not sure it's in a, in a positive way. Now, my experience on a full moon is that, so say you're going in the morning, on the morning after a full moon, um, which, uh, well, the moon's still full, but it, it, it's moving into the waning gibbous. So I found that those mornings, like if you go in real early in the morning or at daybreak or whatever, almost no movement all the time on, on, on the night of a full moon. And I believe it's because maybe they had more light and maybe they did a lot of feeding or maybe they felt safer and there was more moving around. Um, I think they're embedding probably 
right before the lights come on, right before sun up, I think they're in bedding. And they just don't move. Now, based on my cameras, I do see a lot of midday movement on the on the um, the days of the full moon. Like it was it was a full moon the night before. I'll go in and I'll hunt in the morning, and I'll see nothing. And I'll see nothing on those cameras too. But a lot of times, um, of the the data would be tell me that I need to go in midday. And I did that last year. I went in midday night after a full moon and I saw a lot of activity and I got a lot of activity on my cameras too. So food for thought, take it into consideration. I, obviously I encourage people to put in the comments anything that they think and anything that they've sort of uh, discovered. And I know there's a, people have been studying the moon and animal movements probably for thousands of years, uh, well before you know, uh, GoPros and the internet and science and well there's always been science but you know studying like we do as hunters and fishermen and whatnot trying to get better at our uh, crafts so i believe during the full moon i think they have an increase of feeding i think that they're out all night and they're feeding because they can move around more easily and be able to spot predators more easily i think they're out in those fields or, or whatnot feeding more i do think that Weather plays a role in this, but that's a whole nother video. I, I think that weather is a stronger factor than the moon. Uh, like if I say it's yeah, I'm gonna be uh, gonna be the day after a full moon, right? And I'm gonna go in and hunt. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna skip the morning, and I'm gonna hunt uh, the afternoon. If it's if I'm due to get rain or high wind in the afternoon, I'm gonna go in in the morning. You know, I'm not saying it. It works all the time, but I, I think the weather is going to be more of a deterrent than the moon. You know, I, I, I like to try to think it's the moon, you know, and you can pinpoint it that way, but that's not necessarily the case. So tell me what you think in the comments. I don't want to make this video too long, but I saw increased movement on the waxing gibbous, the higher percentages up into the 90s or even the high 90s, and after the full moon, the waning gibbous up into the high 90s. That's all I got for you. Subscribe to my page. This is Dika from My Neck of the Woods, signing off.